For this year's fall planters, I thought I would shop through floral I've used from previous year's arrangements. As you can see, there are quite a few different fall color choices, from caramel colored leaves to vibrant orange ones. I'm going for a fall harvest look this year with a touch of Halloween. So I'm just going to finish digging through these florals and then I'll show you what I have planned. So these are my selections. I like to set the stems on the floor first, laying them out to figure out my design. I'll be putting two of these together, so I always split the amount of florals I have in half to make sure I have enough for the second planter. I'll be putting this fall planter arrangement together in this rustic urn I purchased on clearance from Home Depot. I thought it was the perfect blend of rustic and elegant to suit our home. So I'm going to start by adding these tall orange leaf stems in the back right. I'm going for an asymmetrical look with this, so later on the second planter, I'm going to mirror this by instead placing these on the back left. These stems are just vibrant enough, and they add a nice amount of height and fullness to the look. Next, I'll be adding these almost cornstalk looking stems. These will start to add in some dried foliage rustic tans to the look, giving it a harvest feel. I think I purchased these from Bachman's a few years ago in their spring clearance section. My brother purchased some as well, and they have been quite useful for various fall arrangements. The serrated edges of the leaves add a different texture to the look compared to the more rounded style on the oak leaves. I think it's good to have not only some contrasting colors in a design, but contrasting textures and finishes. It just makes the finished arrangement more interesting to look at, I think. The very next stems I'm going to add are these clusters of round leaves from Dollar Tree. They have vibrant colors as well, but introduce a smaller leaf shape into the planter. To add in some spooky to the look, I'll be adding these vintage style Halloween garden stakes I purchased from Walmart a few years ago. If you want more of a fall rather than Halloween look, you could use an autumn themed lawn stake or decoration instead, like a regular pumpkin, a crow, or instead of a stake, place a lantern in the planter instead. I've used these in planters before, but they are finally making a comeback. I purchased these adorable mini witch broom stems from Bachman's a few years ago. I like the dried foliage coloring and texture they add to the look, and they are a subtle spooky accent guests will notice when up close. And with their stick stems, they also sturdy up the arrangement and help keep the taller floral in place on windy days. I usually hold back some of each floral just to fill in along the way as needed. Then I'll be adding these short maple leaf stems. These are wonderful fillers and are great for accenting around the edge of the planter. 
Originally, these leaves came in a bush that I trimmed apart with the wire cutters. Next, I have these, which add in another great texture to the look. They remind me of the clusters at the top of dried grasses in the fall. They have spent quite a few fall seasons outside and still look nice. And I do bend and blend floral together along the way to get things sitting in the arrangement where I want them. To make the arrangement glow at night, I'll be adding these orange glass LED string lights from Dollar Tree. I really like these lights with the larger bulbs and sparkle they have when lit up And just to note, this planter is filled with potting soil, so that is what is holding up the stems. But once I get the rest of the lights in and get the planter hauled outside, I'll show you the finished look. And if you're looking for another spooky watch to put you in the fall mood, I welcome you to check out this video where I helped my brother decorate his home for fall and Halloween last year. In the video, I'll show you what his place looked like when he first moved in and show the decorating process it took to change the blank space into a cozy fall home. This Halloween special is available to watch on YouTube at the link below. So if you like, I welcome you to check it out. Thanks so much for watching.